I'm Marissa Cloutier, and I'm here to discuss the quantum enigma. If you think this seems rather puzzling, don't worry, you're not the only one. Quantum mechanics is a branch of physics that pertains to microscopic particles including photons and electrons. These quantum particles are known to behave in ways that are very strange. It appears that they can be in two places at once and they even seem to consciously know when they're being observed. This strange behavior presents an enigma, which is a puzzling or inexplicable situation. Although the quantum enigma is one of the greatest mysteries of science, scientists prefer not to talk about it. They don't like not being able to explain it, so they prefer to push it under the rug, and that way people like you and I never know about it. Today I will discuss the quantum enigma and how it appears to alter what we view as reality. One of the best demonstrations of this mysterious quantum behavior can be shown using Thomas Young's double slit model. When Young first developed the model in 1803, he took a sheet of metal and cut two narrow slits in it through which he passed a beam of light. He then placed a screen on the side of the metal sheet opposite the light source. The light passing through only two slits was predicted to produce only two bands of light on the screen. However, many bands of light, in a striped pattern, were produced. Had the light been water passing through the slits, this result would have been predictable. However, because light, unlike water, was not known to have wave capabilities before the experiment, the results of this test were monumental. It was discovered that light, which is comprised of tiny particles called photons, can produce a pattern that is only characteristic of waves when passed through the two slits. The surprising nature of these results, however, pale in comparison to the shocking conclusions that were drawn from later experiments performed on Young's double-slit model. Years after Young's initial double-slit experiment, scientists sought to discover just how photon particles passing through the two slits could create a wave pattern on the screen. They hypothesized that the photons, or particles of light, could be bouncing off one another while they were shot, many at a time, through the slits. In order to eliminate the possibility of this photon interference, scientists shot photons at the screen individually so they could not in any way interact with one another. Strangely, the many stripes or wave pattern still appeared on the screen. Some scientists speculated that this means that one particle can pass through both slits and be in two places at once. After ruling out the possibility of photons bouncing off one another to create a wave pattern, scientists decided to place an observation device near the slits that would determine which slit each photon passed through. The device in no way physically interfered with the photons. It merely recorded which photons traveled through which slit. When the photons began firing and the device was activated, the scientists were shocked to find that the photons no longer created a wave pattern on the screen. They produced the two stripes of light on the screen that had been initially predicted. Scientists were deeply troubled by these results. They searched for error in the experiment, but could find none. They also attempted the experiment using electrons, which are tiny bits of matter, instead of photons. The results were the same. The best explanation for these spooky actions of the small particles was that the act of observing which slit each particle would pass through caused the particles to behave differently. When the observing device was present, the particles somehow knew that they were being observed and created a different pattern on the screen. In order for the particles to change their behavior as a result of being observed, they must have consciously observed their observers. So far, we've only talked about one quantum mechanical experiment. However, in our discussion of the double slit experiment, we have encountered a great deal of quantum weirdness. There are a number of other instances in which quantum particles exhibit strange behavior, one of which is the quantum Zeno effect. According to this principle, repeatedly observing some unstable particles that would normally decay very quickly actually prevents them from decaying at all. Another counterintuitive example of quantum theory is quantum teleportation, which is the instantaneous transmission of information from one quantum particle to another quantum particle that may be located a great distance away. Although some aspects of quantum mechanics may sound surreal, it is already being used for the creation of countless products that we use every day. Some examples of these products are lasers, transistors, and magnetic resonance imaging machines. Plans for quantum computers, which are thought to be capable of much more than our current classical computers, are also in the works. Quantum mechanics is currently the most accurate scientific theory available, and it plays a key role in today's society. 
you would think that the implications of this theory, ones which challenge our current view of reality, would be more readily pondered and addressed. However, scientists continue to use quantum theory as a tool and pay no heed to what it could actually mean. They are so set in the current scientific paradigm that they refuse to discuss the implications of quantum theory when it is asked of them. Long ago, it was believed that the world was flat. Who knows if our current view of reality is just as wrong as this? We will not know this until scientists and others become aware of the quantum enigma and begin to address it. Let me tell you a little story about Schrodinger's cat. My name's Erwin Schrodinger. I say, how you do? And I have a paradox that I must share with you. If I take a big steel box and put a cat within, then I lock it up again. Let the experiments begin. Do an experiment on a cat. I bet you live to regret that. Do an experiment on a cat. I bet you live to regret that. Inside the box there with the cat, some other crazy things. They'll be in there for an hour. I'll list them as I sing. A nucleus of an isotope has a half chance to decay. It will emit a particle of Geiger counters in the way. I hope the walls are not too thick. Schrodinger, man, you're really sick. I hope the walls are not too thick. Schrodinger, man, you're really sick. If the counter clicks a hit, we'll trigger a hammer blow. On some cyanic acid, that poor cat will go.